The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com, where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. Now, let's begin here by reading our problem. Example, two lens system for converging lenses. What is the position and magnification of the final image formed by two converging lenses that are 80 centimeters apart when the object is placed 60 centimeters in front of the first converging lens and the focal lengths are also given to us as well. Now, I'll, what we'll do is we'll first go ahead and find the position and then we'll proceed and find the magnification. Now, I'll encourage you to pause the video and attempt to solve the problem independently. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to follow along. Let's begin by taking a look here at figure 19 and then really understand what's taking place. Note that this drawing is not to scale, but its approximation is good enough for us to understand what is taking place. Now, we're told that we have two converging lenses and that the focal length for lens A is 20 centimeters, while the focal length for lens B is 25 centimeters. Furthermore, the two lenses are 80 centimeters apart and the object's distance is 60 centimeters in front of the first lens. Notice that the object's distance is greater than two times the focal length. What information does that give us about the image formed? Recall earlier in this lecture series when we introduced ray tracing for converging lenses, we stated when the object is located beyond two times the focal length, the image formed is real, inverted, and reduced. Thus, intuitively, the placement of this image should make sense. Now, to find the position of the final image, all we need to do is use the lens equation to find the location of the first image, then call upon the lens equation once again where the image from the first lens will act as the object for the second lens. Let's get started. If we come down here, we'll begin with the lens equation, and if we solve the equation for image distance, we end up with the following. Next, we can go ahead and uh, fill in our given, that being 60 centimeters for object's distance in front of lens A and the focal length of lens A is 20 centimeters. Next, we can solve and find that the image formed by our first lens is going to be 30 centimeters behind lens A. Now, since the image distance is a positive number, that tells us the image is real and located 30 centimeters behind lens A. Come back up here, moving on, image A will now become the object for lens B, as we had just stated, and we'll call that image object B. We'll first need to find the distance of object B from lens B. Recall, we're told that two converging lenses are 80 centimeters apart, right? And we just figured out that the image distance for lens A is 30 centimeters. Thus, object B's distance from lens B is simply the difference between the two. Coming down here, Mathematically, the distance of the, uh, the excuse me the distance of object B from lens B is as follows, and object B's distance works out to being 50 centimeters. Next, next we can go ahead and uh, call upon the lens equation once again and solve for the distance of image B. From here, we can go ahead once again and fill in our values, that being 50 centimeters for object's distance in front of lens B, and the focal length of lens B is given to us as 25 centimeters. And upon solving, we find that the final image formed is 50 centimeters behind lens A. Let's proceed now to our next slide where we can find the total magnification of the system. Now, recall the Total magnification is going to be the product of the magnification produced in each lens. Thus, we'll first find the magnification in lens A and in lens B, and then we'll finish off by determining the total magnification of the system. Let's get started first by finding the magnification of lens A. And if we come down here, we'll begin with the magnification equation for lens A. A. And the image distance and object distance for lens A is 30 centimeters and 60 centimeters respectively. Upon solving, we find that the image produced by lens A is one, half the, is one half the original size. And what does the negative sign signify? Well, the negative sign tells us that the image is inverted. Next, let's go ahead and find the magnification of lens B. Once again, we'll begin with our magnification equation. The image distance and object distance for lens B is 50 centimeters 
And upon solving, we find that the image produced is the same size as the object. And the negative sign tells us that the image is inverted relative to the object. And an absolute value of 1 for the magnification of lens B should make sense intuitively. Recall earlier in this lecture series in figure 8, we stated for concave lenses, when the object is located at 2 times the focal length, the image will also be located at two times the focal length, but on the opposite side of the lens. And the image will be the same size as the object. Now that we have the magnification of each lens, let's go ahead and find the total magnification of the system. We'll begin here with our equation for total magnification that we introduced on the previous slide. Next, we can fill in our values for magnification of lens A and lens B, that being negative one half and negative one. And upon solving, we find that the magnification of the system is going to be one half and the final image is real, erect, and reduced. Let's now proceed to our next slide where we can take a look at an example of a converging and diverging lens. Beginning here, example,